Top is removed. I was kind of curious what I was gonna find up under this top. For us rust, there's no rust down here. It's a common spot where it rusts out. Also right here. I done seen worse. It's a hole forming here. I'm gonna check the other side. See what it looked like, and get with the owner. See what he want me to do about it. For us repairing it. But this is the top removed. Now I'm ready to start cutting this out. But before I cut it out, I'm not just gonna put this up here and cut it out. I'm gonna make me a template out of cardboard first. I gotta put two pieces together because I ain't got a big enough piece. I'm about done with the panoramic on this box over here. But I just talked to the owner. He said he want me to redo the quarter top, the LS quarter top. I got it right here. So we're gonna take this old vinyl off here. He going with cloth, he not going back with vinyl. But I gotta take it to get it stitched around the back side. Once we take the cloth off, I show you the cloth. Well, once we take the vinyl off, I show you the cloth that we're going with. Here's the trim to go around the bottom side. A lot of guys just leave that off. They don't put that back on once they redo the top. Here's the fiberglass shell. You want to be real careful when you're taking, we're handling this because it'll crack on you. Sometimes they be already cracked like along this bottom here. Here's the old vinyl. See if I can show you the back side up for us to see. And this is the cloth I'm going with. It's a gray. The back side of black, but I'm going with the gray. All right, once I get it stitched, I cut it back on. We'll get back, back on the quarter top. Panoramic done, everything. Also painted. Before I wrap the shell, I'm going to take this here, the LS glass out. Well, not the glass, but the uh, this part here because I got to wrap this on both doors. So let me take those pieces off, then we'll wrap them. Here's the quarter glass trim pieces. Now I got to remove uh, this plastic trim, but I got to take this part here off first. So we'll do that right quick.
Then I can get to the staples. Got three staples there. But this part here just come off. Then they got some staples down here at the bottom. What I do, I got a pick. Need to get some plies that I can pull it up. But that's all I'm gonna be doing. Once I take this trim off, then we'll remove the old vinyl. Then we'll be able to take our canvas, cut some out, and wrap it. Here's the old vinyl. Finally got it off. Now, cut me a piece, somewhat the size of it, a little bit bigger. Now, I flip this over here. Put this on top of it. Then I'm gonna wipe. I'm gonna wipe some Landau top adhesive glue with a chip brush. You could spray it on, but I'm gonna do it with a brush. Wipe this side here. It's contact cement, so you gotta wipe both sides. Wipe this, then I'm gonna, I'll probably trace up in here just so I know where to wipe. So I just won't be wasting no material. Then I wipe some on this, and once it dry, you gotta make sure it's completely dry before you stick it. Cause that's, that's how it burn, once it dry. Take my glue, I'm just gonna go around the outline that somewhat over it so I can overlap it. Then I go back and feel the inside in once I get this done. Got a little bit more to go. Now I move, remove that. Now I go back and fill it in. This is just so I won't be wasting no glue, putting it in spots that I don't need it. Once I wipe this, I go do the same thing with the fiberglass shell. Like I said, make sure it's dry before you start trying to burn both of them together. And I uh, put it in place. Should be fine now. See, now I just tighten it on up. I'm gonna go back and trim it out and overlap it some more. I'm gonna wipe some inside of here. Once I get through getting it somewhat tight. You can see I trimmed out the edges. Now I'm ready to overlap it. So I'm gonna be doing this, ripping it, pulling it tight, overlap the back side. Just that simple.
Now working on this trim. I done took the staples out of all the pieces. Now I gotta take a maroon scotch spray, scuff it up. Then I spray some adhesion promote on it. It's sand free. But I'm still gonna scuff it up. Then I got my color here. It's the Sim color coat 15393. Medium gray. Okay, here's a few days later. I just wanted to show you. I got the quarter glass, quarter top trim wrap. As you can see. I also got my fabric back, but I'm disappointed. I know I'm not no guru or poster guy, but I know good quality and bad quality. Somebody that take pride in their work, somebody that, that, that don't. Let me show you a few things on this here, on the stitch. It's all right over here, I can deal with. But right there, they got off. Now, I don't do a poster, but I'm pretty sure I could have done better than that. Look right here. Goes up, come back down. Same way right here. It's just all going all kind of ways. Look like they rush. Look right there. But that's not the worst of it. Now, I probably could have dealt with that. But this is what I can't deal with. See, I got it over where it need to be on this side. But look at this side here. Now, I can just look at this and tell that's not the shape of the quarter top. You see how it's slanted right here? It don't go like that. It's supposed to go straight down. Look at this side. Now, this side right goes straight down. But this side goes down and then comes over. Now, y'all tell me what's wrong with that. So, once I lay this down here with some glue, and I pull it tight because everything gonna have to be right because this gonna have to be right with this top. So I won't have no wrinkles in it. But when I pull this tight, just say I'm pulling all this tight. And this gonna my seam gonna be on the side of the quarter top. Which it need to be lined up inside of here. All the way around. So what I'm gonna do. I should have did it from the jump. I was going to order me a sewing machine and start doing a poster myself. That's what I should have done. But, tried to give them the benefit of the doubt, which I'm not going to talk bad about nobody. So, we're not going to even speak on his name or who did it. But I know not to take no more a poster jobs to him no more. But I'm going to order me a sewing machine so I don't have to worry about it no more. I'm going to start doing it myself. And we're going to do it in this video here. That's why I always say let's learn together. We're going to learn together. I never did no poster day in my life. But I don't watch plenty of videos on YouTube. So I'm pretty sure I can do it. So we're going to order the console 206 RB, I think. We're going to order that. And when it come in, we're going to do some poster. So y'all stay tuned. I got some good news. The sewing machine came in. I was going to bring it out here and set it up. But I decided to set it up and I got a room that I was doing some remodeling. I think I'm going to use that as my sewing room until I expand my business, get a little bit bigger and, you know, a poster. But right now I'm just going to be dibbling and dabbing, doing my stuff, stuff here and there. But I'm going to take y'all to the room and I'll show you what we got. We'll unbox it, get everything set up. Which I don't know what I'm doing because this is my first time doing a poster, but I'm going to watch a couple of YouTube videos and we'll get it set up. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, here is the sewing machine, which I don't know. I know I got the the head, the motor. I got a servo motor. And this look like the leg and drawer. I think that's the table. I think I got the sewing machine dialed in like I want it. Now we gotta remove both pieces of canvas. 
think I'm just gonna cut that stitch out on both sides. Then I got um two different old vinyl tops came off a of box shipping. This the one came off the box shipping I'm working on now. I already had this one, so it's been taken apart. So I got the pattern by these two pieces, so I'm gonna use those instead of worrying about taking this apart. It's gonna be the same thing. So let me uh cut this, get it taken apart. Okay, here we go. Now, once I get it stitched back up, we'll go from there. About to sew my patterns together. Okay, I got that stitch done. You can see that. Now I gotta fold the flaps over on the back side. Then I can do my two top stitches. What I'm doing now, I'm trimming this back off some, so when I fold it over, it'll be somewhat even on both sides. See, I took some Landau foam glue and glued the back down so I ain't got to worry about holding it down when I start stitching the top stitches. Which I know didn't have to be done, but it just makes my job a lot easier for this being my first time doing it. What it's looking like. I gotta do the other stitch on the other side, then I'd be good. Okay, finish with the top stitch, as you can see. I'm no professional, but I could turn out good for my first time doing it. Then we're gonna take it back out to the shop and get it installed. Okay, here's the shell. I got my fabric right here. I'm gonna do a, a little at a time. I'm not gonna spray the whole thing. Then I might just brush it on. You could brush it on or you could spray it on. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna brush a little on, probably right about here, just to get it started in the middle. Then I put some on the fabric because it's contact cement, so you're gonna have to brush some on the, uh, shell some on the fabric once it dry you burn two pieces together but i'm gonna do the middle first see i got my seam here lined up with this here so once i do the middle i'll be able to stretch it somewhat because this canvas it don't stretch like vinyl so i'm gonna try to stretch it put it in place that's the plan i pretty much got it wrapped up now I still gotta overlap these end pieces here. I done did this 
and around the back glass. But I gotta repair some spots here. It's some, you can see this piece of plastic. It's missing right here. So I'm gonna have to put another piece there. That's, that's there just to hold this trim piece on. So you have some to stable this trim piece on here. It goes along this bottom, along the back side. And what I'm doing, I just got some, uh, I got a spreader, old spreader, and I cut it to size. Just gonna CA glue it to, uh, if I can get the right, I'm gonna CA glue it right there. But I'm gonna drill a hole so this rivet can go through so it won't be sticking out. Once I do that, I staple this trim piece on, then I flip it over. Along these edges, you can't glue the edges on first. Well, not first, but you can't glue them on until you put the top on because some rivets go through that to hold it onto the roof of the car. Also, along this side, it's a rivet go there as well. So I'm not gonna glue that on until I put the shell on itself. Here's the repairs. One here, also there. Then I got another one over there. Just to hold the staples. I glued it with some CA glue. It's the hardener. Here's the glue. I done installed the trim around the bottom edge. Now I'm putting the emblem on. I done poked the holes, there's three holes that the studs go through. Then you gotta put these on the back side. I trimmed the back of the studs off so it won't be sticking out too far. But here's the emblem. Also put the trim on the quarter glass. Now we just gotta install the top, glue it down. We'll get it on the car and go from there. About to start putting the quarter top back on now. I guess first thing I do is the quarter glass. Put the put these pieces here on. Screw here and two at the top. Then you got these nuts on the back side. There's the quarter glass. Now we're getting ready to put the top on. It's supposed to start snowing in a few, so I'm trying to hurry up. I got the top on now. Only thing left is trimming this rest of this fabric out. You can see I done ripped it in. The holes right here is for the these clips to hold this trim on. Once I glue the rest of it down. Let me take care of that. Then I'll cut you back on. Trimmed out. Now I'm ready to glue it down. Right from the bottom to the top, from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we right from the bottom.